Hey everyone, it's Colin Pranger, the Everyday Pilot, and it's been a while since I last posted a video here on my channel. And I have a cool video for you here today because in this video is a flight where I landed at one of my bucket list airports that I wanted to land at, and that's San Diego Lindbergh. Now let's get into more of the details about the flight that I took, and let me first by start by saying that my audio recorder died even before I started recording the audio for the approach into San Diego Lindbergh, which is why I'm narrating and you don't have ATC audio. I know it's a big bummer, but it's, there's nothing I could do about it. So right now we're descending uh, into San Diego, or the greater San Diego area. You can see kind of just above and right of the nose is Miramar Air Force Base or Naval Base. I don't know what branch of the military it is. And uh, Gillespie Field is somewhere around here. So right now I am about northeast of the airport and SoCal Approach is now turning me left. They're trying to sequence me between a bunch of different jets that are landing at San Diego Lindbergh. And since my approach speed is so much slower than a 757 or a 737, his spacing had to be spot on and he did a fantastic job. And I was under IFR rules and you can see it's VFR conditions, but uh, he was just having me expect the visual approach into the runway and uh, he was just going to vector me onto the final approach course. And uh, it was pretty straightforward. It was a little bit hectic because you're trying to fly in busy class Bravo airspace, you're trying to manage traffic, you're trying to, or you have that um, nervousness in your stomach that you're going to be spaced in between two jets. And that's exactly what he did. He put me behind, I think, an American Airlines 737, and he had a Delta 757 riding up the rear coming in close. So he. I tried to keep my approach speed up because, I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure you know that a Cessna approach is whatever, 65 knots, something really slow, whereas a 757 will be, I don't know, 150 knots. So that was a pretty crazy thing to experience. But nonetheless, the views were spectacular on approach because if you know San Diego Lindbergh well, that the approach into the airport from the east is very low over the buildings. And uh, it's a little bit different perspective when you're flying the plane, looking down the runway and the buildings are kind of whizzing below you. Uh, well, they're not really whizzing in this plane, but if you're in a jetliner, they were kind of whizzing. Even though I was pretty nervous on final approach that I was trying to keep my speed up and try and make a good landing, I still had quite the audience on approach here, and you'll see it in just a couple minutes, uh, that they had a US Airways A320 ready to take off, he had a Citation X on the other side of the runway waiting to take off, and there was a Hawaiian A330 taxing for departure. So I have never experienced that before in my life, landing in a, a large class Bravo airspace where there is heavies and you know large traffic flying in and around me. And I just felt so out of place with a 172 flying into this into San Diego Lindbergh. But uh, you know, overall it was it was a it was a good experience.
As always, thanks for stopping by. Give this video a big thumbs up and also subscribe if you haven't already. Stick around for another video. I do the instrument departure out of San Diego Limburg and I hit IMC for just a couple seconds there. We'll see you next time.